one here, pool one of the Men's Volleyball Nations League 2019. On the start line, Germany and China, but first, Iran against Italy. It's Italy serving here in the blue, and it's all white on the night for the first score. Iran taking it. Manavi. Immediate side out, so uh, the serve from Gafour. Set from Gianelli. It's an opportunity to get the ball down on the floor, not taken. And the overpass, which Italy uh, look to make full use of, and they do. One one. The flop serve over the top. And chance on the opposite side comes down off the block. And that's well worked again. Amir Gaffour, opposite side. Dig out. Tap over the top, or rather inadvertent block there. It's kept the ball live. And Nelly, opposite side for Italy, just off the side of the blocker. Two, two. Nelly on serve, it's a boomer. Picked up as well by Ibaripour. Balasso is the Italian libero. And his opposite number there, Hazrat Poor. Couldn't do anything to, to dig the ball up and out. And Italy just trying to find their range. The spike coming down the side there of Ibaripour's left shoulder. So, the 25-year-old from Trentino, Gabriele Nelli, on service. Badipur with the reception. And Badipur again. It's a set there from the ever reliable Maruf Lakrani. Just consistent with his setting, Said Maruf Lakrani, the uh, squad captain. And it well, offers the best possible opportunity for Badipur to get the ball down. Mohamed Masavi Sayed now. Set. Oh, and they use the decoy really well to allow Ibadipur to run round and hit it wing side. Strong start here by Iran. They managed to isolate that single blocker. Gianelli. No chance of getting that back. Masabi Sayed on serve there. That's the block, just pushing back the shot from Lavia. Nice high set from Balasso. Here comes Nelly again. Two metres ten. He's uh, got the height. And there, he had the spike. Lavia now. 19-year-old, who only made his debut against Japan last week. A very good set, blocking, two of them in the middle, and it panicked the Iranians enough to win the point back for Italy. Again, getting their blockers well stationed high over the top of the net there. Didn't quite read that coming back there, did they, the Iranians? So Lavia. Serves again. That's a ball on the pickup. There's Ibadipour. 
the safety in numbers at the net. Nice high uh, over the head set, which was gobbled up in turn. Antonov's first uh, contribution. Quick side out back for the Italians. Who are looking to pick themselves up. Make no mistake about that in the BNL this year. Just eight in last year's competition. Five points off qualifying ultimately for the final six. And uh, it was very hurtful to not even make the semi finals at the World Champs that they co hosted late last year. Tap over, and it's too long there from Ibadi Paul, but they forced the Iranians into that error there. Dogged defence from Italy. Seven-five here. Opening set. With a good high set there. Maruf Lakrani, they do the basics well, the Iranians. But Italy just having a, a few more street smarts at the top here. Great combination blocking by Anzani and Gianelli. So first technical timeouts. And it's Italy who have the lead opening set here in Jiangmen. here for Italy, opening set, opening day of the men's VNL 2019. The Italians who weren't really a force until the 1970s in terms of men's volleyball. They did win a, a European bronze back in 1948, but it was really the advent of uh, Julio Velasco's tenure that uh, turned them into a nation to be feared. Three World Champs, a World Cup, six Euros, eight World Championship medals, all in the, that hugely successful spell. And this is an Italy that dominated the first decade of the World League as well, the precursor to the VNL. Eight goals in the first 11 editions, but nothing in the World League since 2000. Running at a, an advantage of six here as Gianelli serves. Manavi on that pickup. There's Gianelli again. And Balasso to serve it up. Nelly with an opportunity to finish that rally, not taken. And there's the stuff. The Antonov not having it all his own way, wing side. Antonov again just seemed to hold back a little through that shot. So timeout is called then here in uh, Jiangmen, China. 10 6, Italy's gap is 4.
joined the World League party in 2013, dominant in Group 1 of the competition. A bit of the past four world champs as well. Took a very good Russian team to beat them in the final round. Back in 2014, dropped down to 13th last year in uh, Italy and Bulgaria. Oh, that's a pump shot down, got high. They got the ball down on the fall quickly from uh, Ali Shafiai. Quick set, and he blasts that through the block. The middle blocker, Ali Shafiai. Spin on that serve as well, picked up by Balasso. Third touch has to come down the line and does. Antonov, opposite side, finding that corridor. Just push the rolling lead up to four now. The Italians. And Lavia almost rushes past that serve before he can receive it, such was the uh, spin on it. Down the side of those three blockers. Will surely get Antonov into the groove. And he can't keep up that pressure, keep the choke hold on. So the serve dumped into the net. The Iranian 10 is Amir Gafour. Ripper of a serve, Gianelli, and the block comes back down and thrown back down by Syed. These are the little moments that you have to make full use of. Momentum so key in these volleyball encounters. That goes long. Just raise the level, you just ratchet it up a bit. Occasionally the concentration goes, that's what's happened there. So 12 9. So the gap is three. Italy in the ascendancy and have their side out on service. A little bit deep, allowed Italian hands to just get enough on the block there. Oh, that's a terrific block over the top of the net. Slamming the door there on Daniele Lavia. Mohamed Syed. Oh, that block working in unison. Great teamwork defensively there by the Iranians. Mohamed Manavi Nejad. Dropping in front of the baseline, had to be defended. Nelly, his shot came back. Ibaripour just rolled it off the uh, bottom of the palm of the hand, tried the tip, punched down by Nelly. Wasn't messing about there, Gabriele Nelly, because the Italians will have had just uh, one eye on the scoreboard there and have been worried at how Iran Snapping at the heels all of a sudden. Nelly was part of the Italy junior side that won the Euro title back in 2012. To wait three years before his senior debut though. The so challenge has been called here. We know that uh, video assistance is available. Two challenges allowed per team, per set. This is a straightforward in or out call. A big call, really, because the, uh, the gap is two if the 
challenges to be unsuccessful. And always the extra sense of theatre and tension provided by uh, Hawkeye. Well, the ball was out, and uh, not just out either. Clear daylight there. So, interesting stuff. Gap is two. Ali Shafier now. Into the net. And that hint of momentum given up again. Ball in hand with Daniele Lavia now. It's well picked up, works it to opposite side. Fabulous defence from Italy. Well, the, the fact that Balasso got anything on that pickup was uh, quite something. Couldn't steer the defensive touch though. Such was the uh, residual power through this shot. He's crashing it there against uh, Fabio Balasso. And nobody was reading that. Very competitive first set here in China. Said Marouf Lakrani, eight international medals with the, the Iranian team. But he sends that serve long. Paul picks up, quick set, and that A-B combination working wonders again for Iran. Ali Shafier comes in. Well, I make that three times now, they've worked that combination, just isolating that middle blocker as the Italians look to arrange themselves defensively. That gives the service back to Milade Paul, who then dumps it into the net. So, Gabriele Nelly, four points so far for the Italians. The, uh, the player who measures 2 meters 10, tallest player in the Italian delegation from Trentino. Nice spike there, finding the seam. So, they need someone to be the hero. No Zaitsev here, no Juan Torreira. And it might be the 25-year-old from Tuscany, Gabriele Nelly. He makes himself indispensable over the course of these uh, three days' play in China. Sixteen thirteen here in Italy's favour, first set. Second match out on the arena, later host China face Germany. Italy block working. Bump back into the playable situation there in uh, the direction of Nelly. First shot didn't come over. Antonov stepping back off balance, but winding over that right shoulder and still finding the trajectory that gets the point. No, Antonov just stepping back, and he almost allows those two white shirts, those two Iranians, to commit. And then thumps the shot back past them.
22-year-old Simone Gianelli on service here with Italy leading. 17-13, overhead set. That was an opportunity to put Italy away there. But uh, he couldn't find the finish. Gaffor down the side. Just that top-level decision-making experience again. Conspicuous by its absence there, really, for Iran. And all of a sudden, they find themselves back trailing by five. No one's led by more. Gianelli. Look at the way that rolling serve commits in the defender. But splendid pick up there, which set up the point by Manabi. Well played, Iran. a little bit slow in coming in for the second pickup there on their own service. Ali Shapiai. Chance here. Yeah, possession turned over quickly. And a, a no-nonsense strike there from uh, Simone Anzani. A couple of bronzes, a, a silver. The World Cup 2015 for Anzani. Antonov, four medals with the national squad. Strong service as well. Maru flapped over the top. Nelly picks up over the head. Nelly will get another chance. Blocked back by Manavi. Now Ame Gaffo. Well, it's a high-risk game there. Running that serve at such pace. Got to get it right. So, a change. Simone Anzani replaced by Davide Candelaro. Going into the middle block of rotation, another from Trentino. 30-year-old Candelaro. Down it comes from Manavi. Wing side. All of a sudden, he's become a key protagonist here, Mohamed Manavi. And serves. Well, there would have been an argument for a leave there. But that just whistles across the hands there of La Villa. So Italy final point of contact. And Iran back to within three. This time it's rolled off the bottom of the ball of the hand and the shot comes through the block, down and floor touch. So Italy edge ever further. Lead is back up to four. So decoy there. Allowing the finish from Antonov as the man wearing 15, Russo, ducked out of the way. And now Priya Fayadzi. First look at one of the uh, fringe players to come in. Well, that doesn't get a chance there because the serve is too hot to handle for Hazrat Paul. And Italy just with the uh, end of the first set in sight now. He's decided to lift up again. Make sure of it, make sure of winning it. 22 play 17, lead is five.
nearly. Oh, again, it's it's a high risk reward game that Nelly. It's trying to use the full use, the full space of the court, open up the court by uh, rattling the serve from one corner to the opposite. Didn't miss by much, but doesn't need to. So side out, and even that's traded back in turn by Mohamed Hazrat Port. That's the frustrating bit when you've been given a, a window back in, when you've been given a route in, you've been you've been let in. Decide to offer up the point in trade. They're all getting a taster here before this first set is done. Areste Cavuto now. The player who only made his international debut last week against the Japanese. Long serve which floated. Not the most uh, auspicious first touch in championship volleyball. Never mind. There's still time for he. And of course, Italy. Marouf Lakrani on serve there. Overpass. Said to be pushed over by two hands by uh, Antonov to keep it live. Italy block working. In steps Balasso. And that's tipped down to absolute perfection. Nicely done, Russo. Very shrewd touch here. Well, he correctly identified just the one blocker to be. So, set point, Italy here. Maruf Lakrani. No mistake there from Gaffor. Open court to Amat. Just forgotten about the wing side player there, Ami Gaffor. The room he was in, an easy one. Five-year-old Milad Abaripour on serve, booms it down. Cavuto on the pickup. There's Antonov. Iran have kept it going here, just over the net, but free ball, and it was easy for Gianelli. He's gobbled that up over the top. So a captain's touch delivers the first set here to Italy. Opening match on the opening day of the pool in Jiangmen, and Italy are out of the blocks quickest here against the Iranians. Hard enough fought first set that, but Italy have taken it So, you're watching the best moments of the opening set here in Jiangmen, China. Italy have taken it 25-20. Top scoring for the Italians, well, that would be Oleg Antonov, wing side with six. And uh, on the opposite flank, Gabriele Nelli chipping in with five. Iran not done and dusted in this one by uh, any stretch of the imagination, but this uh, young Italy team rising to the challenge laid down for them by uh, Gian Lorenzo Blenghini. And that is to uh, pick up victories in uh, VNL points here with an understrength 14. But so far, so good. Baripur with uh, a pair of points for the Iranians. Manavi and Gaffor joint top scoring with four apiece. The Iranian block not quite working as uh, they would have wanted it. There's still time though. Well, going down the uh, side there, 
50% of Italy serve placement having come back. Targeting the uh, Ibero. Set two then, here in Jiangmen, China. Italy have taken the first here against Iran. Well, the locals, of course, will be looking forward to seeing their team in action a little later against Germany. Nearly three quarters of Chinese households uh, watched the women's volleyball team win uh, Olympic gold in Rio in 2016. The men didn't qualify. This is a burgeoning volleyball country. Competitive are they this year in their home courts, the Chinese? We shall find out. But in addition to taking the opening set, Italy have taken the opening point the second set too. Now here's the very impressive young man, Simone Gianelli. The reception turned into the overpass, so this is a good opportunity for Italy. Nelly comes in, opposite side. We'll find a lot of the 14-man parties, certainly in week one here of the VNL, contain players who have excelled at youth and age level tournaments down the years for their various nations. Well, Gianelli was already earmarked as uh, quite some prospect before making his senior debut, before re really even establishing himself with the under-21s or 23s for Italy. Drafted straight into the senior setup at the age of 18, Simone Gianelli. Three to nothing at the start of the second set for Italy. The team that won the Olympic silver in Rio, Gianelli. Again, that was fading in, and what a serve from Simone Gianelli. You can see why there's such talk about him. It's a ripper. So, the concentration. The execution, the technique, and to the skill level to fire that ball and direct it to drop just inside that baseline. That was the target there, and that's why it's so difficult to defend. Release with such swerve on it. So Gianelli is weighing up his options. There's the target. There it goes back right again. Manavi 
might have had a chance to kill that through Ran. They're going to try it again here. No, they tried the quick set that time. Rather than Manavi, it was Sayed who took it early. The middle prong of that front three over the top of the net there for the Iranians. And Italy, quite honestly, are wise to it. That's why we speak of such things as monster blocks. And Zani spread himself really well there. And on they go on this serve of Simone Gianelli. Well, it had to malfunction sooner or later. And that was the moment. What a run, though, to establish Italy in this second set. Well, they're in a bit of a pit here, Iran. <laughs> Ibanipour just had to commit himself forward through the block. That will do Iranian confidence, the power of good as I mean, Gafour from the opposite side, just threads the shot through. Enough power on it. Well, just a little bit slow in coming across to cover there was Simone Anzani. So Manavi now. No, waste the serve. Can't get closer than five in this second set, Iran. Better reception that time. Hasrat Paul came in, managed to receive the serve, decent set. And if the finish can be found, which it was there, then we've got a fighting chance. We'll say it. Just hits the shot against the grain as well. Tap down. Italy with a nice straightforward point off the block just to restore the gap. Eight to three. First technical timeout of the second set, and it's Italy who lead us into it. Dominant here in Jiangmen, China, against Iran. These two are meeting two days shy of their match in last year's VNL. That was a straight sets win for Italy in that San Juan, Argentina. Twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-five, eighteen, twenty-five, twenty. So. Three competitive sets in the competition a year ago, but still no breakthrough set victory for uh, Iran. La Villa gets involved as Italy push on in this second set. Italy also beat the Iranians in the quarterfinals of the Rio Olympics. Went on to make the final, but still can't get that much coveted Olympic gold medal. It's something of a, a blind spot, really, in the men's volleyball history. No Olympic gold for Italy, four silvers. Multiple bronzes as well.
Nice overhead set here, tip down, comes off the uh, top of the head almost of uh, Ibadipur. Ten four then, gap is six. Here come Iran. Yeah, they need to get themselves back into this match and set. Ibadipur tries to oblige. Running round the shot on the opposite side there, Milad Ibadipur. Very loose from uh, Iran. Uh, it's just a feel where the top level experience is uh, lacking. Deep serve again. Down the throat of Manavi. And now run round to try and finish. Three blockers across. Just forming that. Blue wall, really, which Iran are struggling to find a way to get past. Just adding there to the defensive station was the man wearing 16, Antonov. So they look again to Puriya Fayatsi, a very athletic character, 1 meter 94, the 26 year old from Shadari Umiya. She used a little bit in the first set. They'll obviously take whatever that Italy can throw at them in terms of unforced errors like that long serve. But Iran just having to try and pick a way and work out a way to get through this Italian block. Ali Shafier. They just look eager for it now, Italy. Heavy finish by Nelly, off the top of the block. Iran have kept it live, and the pipe finish will give them some hope, and it will give them a little bit of joy and belief that they can take this match to Italy. Good serve, and the ace. Wow. Roxlavia back on his heels. All it takes is just a good point to get you going again. For two, back to back there for Iran. So the gap is four. Wow. Nelly. Super spike. He got the direction. And he got it cross-court, crucially, there. Just a terrific technique. Over the headset, very slow to monitor the threat, so it's just the one blocker, really, in terms of his obstacle to get past. Gianelli, the reliable server, commentator's curse. That dumped straight into the net. And after that run that he was on at the very start of this set, which established Italy and their ascendancy, he wondered whether he was uh, going to sort of skate along that level of quality as well there, Gianelli. Touch from Hazrat Poor. And pushed it up for Fayazzi to try and show what he can do. That's why the French players can be dropped into the rotation to see if they can just take the match in a different direction. Fayazzi unable to there. Antonov. Jump serve, well fielded. Real miss from Mohamed Sayed. So three blockers, you understand the angle that he's coming in on. He wants to sort of cut it shallow and down. But off the take and bouncing away is a pure gift here for Italy. Second set, proving less troublesome than the first. 
If anything, it's the errors that will help Iran along. Another one off serve there from Antonov. Six errors so far. A good save, but what a reception that is. They weren't quite able to run it on there, Italy. A reminder of just what can be achieved with the right service, even if it is received. But Italy never in control there. So here's Fayazzi, one of the graduates from recent under-21 World Championship squads. Off the hands, Iran in control now, push back. That's a super block off the attempt from Sayed. Ibadipour, they all have to commit forward. Couldn't get past that single blocker there. Iran may have missed their chance in this rally. Pushed on again and back. All of a sudden, the defence is working. Tip over. Iran have kept it. And Ibadipour gets the throw down. That was a brilliant rally. Most exciting we've seen so far today. And how Iran were able to win it, I'm not sure even they know. A couple of chances here. Italy had to finish it. Ball at that point is over in Badipour's head. Marouf just reacts to the ball, hitting the net. Able to set it up. And the thing is, it's the speed of the finish there from Milad Badipour. So we're just shy of a, another technical timeout in this set. Big point this on serve because Italy were threatening to run away with this set. Gap was six at one point. The Iranians have halved that deficit. Rattling good serve as well, but Italy's defence working. Pushed up and into space, and they've got another back, Iran. All of a sudden, the uh, collective sort of clenching of the shoulders and the belief that they can take the match to the Italians. What anticipation there, diving forward there, acrobatically with Zami Gafour. So, a run of four points now. And Iran are within two of Italy's tally. Oh, into the net. So difficult to keep it going. But from a deficit of six to a deficit of three, they'll take that. Second technical timeout of the second set. So Oleg Antonov, eight points so far in the match. That's three above Anzani, his nearest challenger. Slow start from the Russian-born player. Wants another medal to add to his collection, Oleg Antonov. And of course, without Zaitsev here and without Juan Torreira, he's one of the leaders in the squad. Made his debut almost exactly four years ago to the day, Oleg Antonov, which was a victory 
and the Australia in Adelaide. Back in the World League days. We know his heritage, of course, son of Yaroslav, Olympic silver medalist in 1988 for the USSR. 16-13, second set here. Gaffor comes through, touch off the block. Well, Italy look a little bit bemused. Gaps down to two again. A little bending back of the fingertips there. So with the service line again is uh, Mohamed Masabi Sayed. Just Italy having to work things out a little bit more, think more now. A bad poor overpass, chance here for the Azzurri, surely. Yeah, clear open court for Nelly to smack down. Iran, just a little bit slow, a little bit tentative in getting back to their stations there. And that's why there was all that room. So Italy with their side out now feel that normal service has been resumed all of a sudden. <laughs> Nelly wastes the service. Again, that's astute, it's clever, and it's uh, not an ostentatious play either from Italy. Just nice and measured and contained and finished by Cavuto. Taps the tape, Maruf Lakrani, high set to the wing side. Gaffel shot pushed back but wide. Well, they've dug their heels in in this set, Iran. They needed to. So just a reminder of their steelier edge. And they'll always enjoy unforced errors as well. They're going to claim a, a block touch here, Italy. Nelly looks across. Maybe his coach won't oblige. No. Decide not to use the challenge there. Still leading by two here, the Italians. But they're not comfortable as they were earlier in the set. Valiport with the serve. That's Antonov. Overpass. Over from Hazrat for the Libero. Iran scrambling and defending and blocking. And then Gaffor. Shot pushed over. And they work really hard there, Iran, to get within one. Well played, Iran. They just wore Italy down there. And yet there's a huddle and there are words as they try and find a way through this impasse now. They were leading by six earlier in this second set. But Italy have been pegged back now to 18s. Just can't get their noses in the lead, though, Iran. Not led, the Iranians, since they were 4-3 up back at the start of the first set. So Alberto Polo. 22 years of age from Padova in for Roberto Russo. Very much in the bracket of uh, Young and being offered up experience here as possibly one to watch. Tip down. Fayazzi. That's what they've 
Brought him into the squad four. Just a little bit of poise and delicacy. This one's going right down to the very wire here, the second set. Ali Shafi'i will serve. It's 19 all. Oh, and he found the corner. It's an ace. Watch the Italian back line stepping away. Incorrect read from Italy. How about this? Iran suddenly find themselves in the lead. There goes the float. There's no doubt he disguised the serve. Oh, it's more or less perfect. Followed by something not quite in the same manner of celebration. So there is tension. Giardelli. Heavy serve. Oh, chance switch has been taken by Amir Kafour. Opposite side, there was a good, long, steady look across to the, uh, the referee in the chair there to see who that came off last. I'm not surprised, actually, to see uh, an Italian challenge here. Straightforward in or out challenge. Block touch, net touch. The various infringements of volleyball can be checked with the assistance from the people in the Hawkeye cabin. But the ball was in, so hopeful, really. Lenghini there. He then calls a timeout into his coach. On we go then. Iran with a service. Amir Gaffour's delivery. Nelly goes cross court. Shallow angle. Really well landed. Really well landed that by Gabriele Nelly. It's a difficult shot to register that because you haven't quite got the room to work with if you go short across court. Cut down has to be narrower. The angle has to be narrower. Antonov serves. Good serve as well. Arif Lakrani gets it back high. And Fayazzi with that pushed palm shot into deep court. Iran push it back though. 22 plays 21. Over the head it came and well, Kabuto just a, a little off balance as he hit it. 
power in the block from Asabi Sayed. Nelly had a chance there against the single blocker. But it looks very much like Iran have ridden their good fortune, combined with solid defence and a determination not to fold. And they, it seems, are on course to take the second set. 23-21, and the advantage of two is the biggest lead they've enjoyed so far today. By Artsy. Again, it dropped long. But gambled correctly there, the Italians. But there wasn't much in that at all. And now, on their serve, they want the big guns in the rotation. Like Candelaro, Roberto Russo comes in as well. Well, Roberto Russo, the uh, Sicilian, and a 21 World Championship squad member in the Czech Republic two years ago. Gianelli is the squad skipper for the week. And just confirmation of the players being switched there. Anzani then. Italy's side out, they trail by one. It's the business end of the second set here. Gaffor comes in, 24-22. Set point here for the Iranians. Well, Iran got the better of Italy at the World Grand Champions Cup two years ago. They're on the verge of parity here in the VNL 2019. Fired gaming. Rolls over the uh, service. Tricky one as well to deal with. Italy score off the block, though. 24 plays 23. Sensitive time, and now uh, it's the final timeout called in this set by Igor Kalakovic, Iran's coach. Two timeouts permitted per team per set, in addition to the two regulation technical timeouts.
fabulous entertainment in this second set in Jiangmen, China. Italy look to level it up at 24s. Block back. No, it doesn't come over that time. Iran take the set. Level up the match at uh, one set apiece. And what a recovery operation from Iran in set two there. They trailed by six at 15-9. So uh, you look at that. 16 more points required at a, at a point in the match when Italy needed the 10 to take the set. They weren't up to it. And you have to doff your cap there to Iranian resilience to level this match up. It was tight at the end, but they took it. 25-23 after Italy's 25-20 victory in set one. We have a real match on here. So, Iran's serve placement then laid out in that second set. Really interesting contest here in Jiangmen, China, on the opening day of competition for the men in the uh, Volleyball Nations League 2019. The week of the women's competition. So the men start their globe-trotting journey, which they hope will end in uh, the medal round in Chicago six weeks time leg one for Italy and uh, Iran here in China and it's all square in the opening match on the opening day Amir Kafour Iran's side out. 
the start of this third set. Brings Balasso in, the libero step forward from the baseline to dig up. Set up control of the point for Italy. Daly furious that he couldn't land it, a clean kill there. Anzani floats the serve. Maru Flacroni. Good power in the attempt there from Fayazzi, wing side. All belief now in the follow up play from Iran. Latest player to be saluted is Mohamed Mersabi Sayed. Such a game of momentum, isn't it? Italy's young guns absolutely flying in the first set, then 15-9 up in the second. If they'd gone on and taken that, what would have uh, that done to Iran's sense of deflation for the third set? But that was one direction after the sliding doors moment. The other one was Iran getting back and level and winning the second set. And now it's anyone's guess which way this match is going to go. Remember, Germany start against China. Our hosts here in Jiangmen next out on court. Balipur's technique, they're swinging over the right shoulder. Another fizzer from Milan Balipur. Service runs always end in a, a shot dumped into the net. That's right, Paul came short just to pick up. A dive in there. Great libero play from Balasso. Italy will level up the match now. Well, Maruf Lakrani is the oldest in the squad at 33. Got an average squad age of 24 years of age, the Iranians. So from uh, Said Maruf Lakrani all the way down to Mehran. Faisem Edus to 17 is one of the youngest players in this competition, full stop. Service error again from Italy, that time by Oreste Cavuto. Throw back on the set, it was a clever set as well. Gianelli very deliberately scoops that into the path of Gabriele Nelly. By the time reaches him, it's only a body poor in opposition. That's going to be an overpass, Italy chance now. Quick set. Intelligent play from the Azzurri with a point finished by Anzani. Six five. Italy responding like a wounded animal here to the concession of set number two. A very languid service style he's got Roberto Russo.
and successful there though for Italy. set there, thrown into the path of Antonov, but fabulous block. Both parts of the blocking skill in uh, evidence there, the anticipation and then the execution. Evenly assisted as well by Gafour and Fayazzi either side. way through for Antonov at the moment. It's been it's impossible to just barge that door open. Antonov dives in to try to dig it up. No. All around still. 8-6. Amega Four, a player who has shone for Iran in each of the last two editions of the Asian Games, winning in both Incheon and Jakarta last year. So off 12 attacks, 12 points for Iran. It's by uh, some distance the uh, top scorer for the Iranian team here in Jiangmen today. And his experience in Naus. Very, very important for Igor Kolakovic. Four gold medals with the uh, national squad and uh, the bronze as well. He was on that Grand Champions Cup team a couple of years ago, Gafour. His team lead 8 6. I'll well, just shave that down to 8 7. Wise head on the Young shoulders demonstrated again there by Simone Gianelli, just stroking that down. Over the heads. Oh, and the shot finished well by Amiga Four. Again, they're not finding that they can land the ball clean. But there is potency in this Iran attack, no question. Nonsense finish there by Gabriele Nelly. It's turning into a, a nip and tuck affair that rally. That was the chance to end it for Gafour and Iran. Real power through the shoulder, Gabriele Nelly. Antonov serve. He comes back. Ah, oh, fine shot again, cross court, the direction, the angle, the execution. All came together for Fayazzi there. They ran side out then, off the tape. Picked up by Palasso. Anzani. 
clinical over the top of the net there from the Italians and Simone Anzani from Como. Part of the squad that won Italian Volleyball Serie A a year ago. The Perugia. We know that Italian clubs are so, so strong. Uve from Italy, recently crowned CV European champions. Wow, was that dropping in? Did it, Cavuto, not entirely sure he had to too much choice in the matter and there you just see there the body language and the game management there of Areste Cavuto. His concentration levels are not quite there but Lasso's off court and that's why Iran can just pick holes here in Italy. There are weaknesses to go at. The action resumes with Iran serving. Puria Fayazzi as they lead 12 9 third set. Wow! Fayazzi again. A very slow start, tentative introduction to this match, but we're beginning to see why he's been drafted in. What a serve that is. the block, Italy working hard for a side out. Iran, when they're in the mood, are a serious challenge. Nelly serves. Again, the angle downward cross court, much power in it. They seem to have read that serve though from uh, Gabriele Nelly. They can't do much though about the opportunity to block him from open play. Just happened so rarely since the midpoint of the second set, managing to isolate one of their wide players. Sufficiently for him to find a route down onto the floor, the opposite side of the net. Defence has been the big thing for Iran here and everything else has grown from that. Nelly goes again on serve. Maruf Lakrani, then Abadipur. Italy have to dig in at the net, just as Iran have done to them. The throw back and push down, they just get it. They just get the break. Two-handed stuff into the block here, and yeah, that did look good. Well... You throw yourself into the block like that and there's an argument that you make your own luck.
as well as being the oldest, he's the most experienced in the squad. Said Maruf Akrani, 182 caps coming into this VNL campaign for one of the Iranian leaders, the setter. Said Maruf Akrani, the captain. No getting that back. Italy level. Can they inflict on Iran what they did to them in the second set? And that's just twisted around, turn the momentum, turn the direction. Should be Italy ball here, Fabio Balasso, the libero, gets the set back into play, and that overpass will bounce all the way out. Italy have wrestled back the advantage. The real test of character this was turning into for this young squad, with the way Iran had uh, met their level in that second set. Service with Gabriele Nelli. Not even close, I'm afraid, down the channel. Side out. <laughs> Mohamed Masabi Sayed to serve. Two of them back on their heels, stuff block over the top. Yeah, came off Iranian hands last, spills out. So 15 14 now. Italy, who finished on the podium of at least one major competition every year between 2012 and two years ago, 2017, but nothing since the 2017 World Grand Champions Cup silver medal. makes an Italian wince when you mention that the last goal that they won was the 2000 World League. Such a drought, isn't it, for a nation that was so, so strong and dominant for so long under Julio Velasco. Those world champs, 90, 94 and 98, three successive gold medals. But we're looking at the uh, new crop that they hope will restore the glory days, including Simone Anzani from uh, Safety Perugia, from Como. Beautiful part of the world, that, isn't it? 27 years of age, international debut back in 2012. And he's been part of the success. Three medals. World Cup. 2015 silver and bronze in the Euro 2015. Zani has tried to do his bit here today. Seven points all in. Three box. It is uh, Gabriele Nelli who leads the way for Italy in terms of the scorers' charts with but 16 hit. On we go. Third set. Maruf Lakrani with the set. And that's a spike from way out west from Ame Gafour. Great execution on it. The power in the direction. Sixteens now. Tight third set here.
Maruf Lakrani, quick set. Chance for Iran there. Italy have got the ball live again. And the errors are creeping in. What a chance that was. But of all people, it's Antonov who missed his shot. I think he knows it as well. They can't look, they can't look across and hope that Hawkeye will help them out. Well, there will be a block touch challenge here. But I think they're hopeful with it rather than expectant. Just hasn't quite been on all cylinders here, Oleg Antonov, today. You sometimes know by the player reaction, they pull away from uh, an exchange at the net, and they know, they know if uh, a shot has taken a touch off the block or just clipped the net or whatever trust the sort of instinctive human reaction of that player. Just on that occasion, he seemed to look across hopefully. Oh, I hope I, I got a touch off the block there. We shall see. <laughs> Tries to thread it through the seam. And it was millimetres. It was the, uh, the width of it. A hair on your head, but there was no touch. Well, now they're challenging the challenge. And Gianelli, as the skipper, leads the way. I think that's sensible. Well, let's reset, says Simone Gianelli. No desired outcome there for Italy, but it's in danger of becoming a distraction. Ibanipour serves, so we are at 17-16 and not 18-15. Down the side again. Yeah, it's Antonov once more. The sights are off. The, uh, the rifle needs recalibrating. That's the flop, which Nelly couldn't execute. And then Antonov, yeah, off the side. On any other day, those are landed. Those clip the paint and are in and are illegal and absolutely fine. But just not today for Oleg Antonov in Italy. And we are level at 17 all in the third set. to the timeout. Ibadipour struggles to lock in his concentration. 18-17 here now for Italy. Gianelli. Strong on service again. Throw down. Well played, Iran. I do think they give them. Uh, he gives them a, a different option. Fayazzi, wing side. Just got a different skill set. Able to run round the shot there and push the tip, rather than try and wind up a, a spike down the line every time. Oh. 
Ali Shafiai. Now on service for Iran. Overhead set. Rock comes back. And it's Antonov opposite side now. They just can't get him working as he wants to and as Italy wants him to. Whether it's wing or whether it's opposite. Just the man of the moment right now, Maria Fayazzi, wearing seven, the Iranian wing spiker. Gianelli, over the head it comes. Anything will do for Antonov, just graze off the side of the block. So Antonov comes in. Waggle of the... Uh, Antenna as well. And a challenge is going to come in here. Well, I think the point was awarded to the Iranians just to begin with. Yeah, so referee challenge, this is where we're uh, challenging the decision originally given, which was an antenna touch. So just look at the chronology of the contact there. Antonov hits the shot, it's off Fayazzi and then onto the antenna, I think. Yeah, difficult to... For our refereeing duo and uh, for the various teams around the arena, charged with uh, making sure everything's carried out to the letter. So 19s, and then Italy on serve thereafter. So that challenge was successful, and then the advantage shoveled away in the form of a side out. 2019, the long and short of it is, having won the second set, Iran currently are in charge of the third as well. It's a flop serve, a deceptive dip on it, and the block touch helps Italy there. They'll take anything right now. Oreste Cavuto comes in, couldn't find a clean kill. So Italy are challenging here. They feel sure that there was a touch off the block on the way through. So, yeah, we just see the uh, that finger on the right hand of uh, Podia Yali, so bent back. So I would argue that that is a, an obvious, a rather straightforward block touch, which uh, looked evident without the uh, need for slow down cameras, but whatever, it's extremely difficult to uh, tell at high speed. Right, Davide Candelaro, Rotated back in here on service. It's very important that Italy won that point. 20 all. 
No blocking the Iranians, though, when they're in this mood. Running into the shot, Amir Gafour again. Watch his starting position, a good five yards away as he anticipates the setter. 21 plays 20. Fayat, he serves. Kabuto receives it. The shot is long and it's loose. That time it's Russo. What a miss in the circumstances, really. Can't complain about the set. Takes it very early there, Russo. Well, you have to ground those shots, surely. Otherwise, you're going to lose more than you win, and that's the case right now in the middle of this match with Italy. Won the first set, lost the second, and Iran but very good in the third as well. Just as Fayatse dumps the service into the net to make it a one-point match again. Nelly, great angle on the service. Tapped over, Gianelli, here comes Balasso with the set. It's a little bit behind Cavuto, so that's a free ball really for Iran to enjoy themselves with, and enjoy themselves they do, because Italy are all over the show. 23-21 now in the third set for Iran. Service will be provided by Farhad Gaimi. And a four-time medal winner, three of them gold with the national selection. Gaimi is experienced. He's prone to dumping the old serve into the net as well, 23-22. Maruf Lakrani, a body poor, always seems to know the right thing to do with his set, does Maruf Lakrani. One of the most reliable and accomplished in uh, world volleyball. Serving the uh, attack shot up for Ibadi poor, enables Iran to establish another set point. Good job, they've got another. Because Maruf Lakrani shoveled that serve into the net. Didn't come to a bar report, went the opposite side to Fayatsi. Now they're trying to work it as well. And Nelly is blocked off by Ame Gafour. And Iran take the third set too. What a comeback operation here in Jiangmen, China. Second best in the first set, but Iran in the two sets since have just been better. They've made fewer mistakes, they've worked harder, and they have looked more of a unit in truth. They've done the uh, nitty gritty as well of finding the spikes when required and blocking Italy. But a big recovery needed now from Blengini's team, who are staring down the barrel here in China. Iran have turned this match around and lead by two sets to one.
So 15 attacks to Iran's 12. The Iranians out blocking their opponents, though, and uh, that I think has been uh, one of the the moments on which this match is hinged. Amir Gafour has uh, led the way with 16 points off 15 attacks. And you see Spike placement trying to get the ball out wide, work the Italians around the court, and uh, it has worked, hasn't it? And sets two and three. Gabriele Nelli has top scored for Italy with 16, and the out of sorts, I would argue, Oleg Antonov contributed 10 points. So, set four then here in Jiangmen, China, opening day of the Men's Volleyball Nations League 2019. Iran have the lead on Italy. It's two sets to one here. Italy took the opening set of the match. Iran have been the worthy winners of the next two. So, Two teams are easing their way into the VNL this year. Also play China and Germany across the course of the weekend here in uh, Jiangmen, the new town in Guangdong province, southern China, short hop across from Hong Kong. We have uh, a new sports hall holding some 8,500 people. venue for this event. China's men move in country to play another home leg next week as well. The Iranians go to Japan next week. Italy fly to Russia. Face amongst others the uh, United States and Portugal as well as their Russian hosts. Good to get wins and points on the VNL points board as early as possible. The way things are unfolding here, Italy may have to wait for another day to get their first win. Alberto Polo to serve, a 22-year-old. Playing in the national selection for a year. First misstep. Antonov. Over the headset, in comes Gafour. Yeah, there's so much strength in the shot. That's why the block doesn't work. Got to work it off the angle of the arms of the blocker as well, we see there. Fletcher comes back, clips the top of the tape, bounces away.
Puriya Fayazi. Booming serve. What a serve from Fayazi. Well, this is a man who you're watching quite literally play his way into the starting six. Because in previous World Champs, I remember in the VNL last year, they used Sharifi as a wing spiker. Gayami as well as uh, Ibaripour, who's pretty prolific on either flank. But this is a, a new name. Perea Fayazzi. Read the serve that time. Balasso. Nice high set, nice honest set there. Cavuto can't make full use of it. Oh, off balance, bending back, but thrashing down and over. Gianelli showing us again why there's so much talk about this player. Four years in the national team, 108 caps. Now Cavuto. Surface getting a little sticky. Now for the serve of Oresti Cavuto. Hasrat pouring to pick it up. He can't fault the team ethic in the Iranian ranks. Very strong unit. Italy come back at Iran, but they're playing catch up, the Azuri. Now, Davide Candelaro. Set to wing side, Maruf Lakrani picks it up. Italy can take us into a decider, they'll be happy with that. But this is all interesting fact-finding for the coaches, isn't it? Gian Lorenzo Blenghini, who's really getting a measure here of his uh, young charges and how they cope away from home and in these competitive environments. We're seeing a, an Iranian challenge here. They've called it a centre line fault challenge. So that's a foot over that centre line beneath the net and over the top of the net. Again, extremely difficult to tell in the cut and thrust of rallies. Those jousts at the net. It's why we have our two referees and an army of support staff enforcing rules and regulations. And a foot over the line, isn't it? Yeah. So, very tricky, a lot to, to keep your mind on, to keep the play legal at the net. Hopeful challenge, hoping it will be unsuccessful, of course. So it's how to work. 7 4. Candelaro serving for Italy. That second touch dump. It's like the drop shot. Sayin Maruf Lakrani. All those years of experience and class demonstrated. Reception, and rather than set, just bump it over. to build on it, of course, though. They're almost in the blink of an eye, they're back to trailing again by three, leading us into the first technical timeout of this fourth set.
Well, he's been very impressive today. 26-year-old Puriya Fayatsi wearing seven, the uh, wing spiker for Iran. Blended into this experienced squad for the Jiangmen leg of the VNL. That's been an Asian club champion, Fayatsi. And uh, played at the under-21 World Championship in the Czech Republic 2017 when uh, Iran were very impressive. They were fifth in that tournament. Two aces for Fayatsi today. One point scored off the block and it's six points all told. We're sure to see as well some of uh, Fayatsi's younger teammates as well from that uh, Czech Republic under 21 world champ squad. Yali has had a few minutes out on court today, Poya Yali, but Elska Mojarad, who's a second string middle blocker, and uh, Javad Karimi Sushalmai, who is a setter or, or middle blocker as well, is in the party, who I'm sure we're going to see over the course of the weekend. Gianelli messes up the serve. Body poor. No serve, the angle on that. Travelling very, very low over the top of the net, but doesn't really matter as long as they can work it out to Fayazzi. Wing side to register his seventh point of the match. Shot through the seam of those two blockers. Enabling Ibadi poor to continue on serve. Enabling the Iranians to be within a point of Italy now. set was something of a hoist back which in turn gave Gianelli a little bit of work to do just haven't properly got the car back on the road have they the uh, Italians they're still sort of getting back onto the terrain they want to be but it's scrappy because it, Iran's defence is so resolute. There's an in or out call here. So a clean out then. And the shake of the head from Gian Lorenzo Blenghini says it all. Three in a row for Iran on Ibaripur's serve. Eight all, set four. Polo with uh, an up and down. 9-8 Italy. Antonov serves, top of the tape, Rock Hazrick pulled back. Gafour. Again, not the tidiest piece of opposite spiking you're going to see, but successful. Polo and Cavuto forming the two-man wall. No way past. The angle of service across court. Gave an opportunity to the Italians, and Gabriele Nelli has missed that. It's a, a really presentable chance, that, to get a point on the board for Italy. And Nelly, I think, looks round. He kind of wants to, wants to be able to point the finger at someone or something else, but... It's a straightforward mistake, indicative of the way this match has slipped away from Italy. Antonov pushes the overpass. 
block down gets Italy on terms. Arrived in Chiang Men start of the week. They had two players meet up with the squad after that date. Two days ago on Wednesday, Gianelli came in and Fabio Balasso. Tip. The Italians read it. Candelaro was alert. The composure is there, it seems, when it needs to be now from Iran. Gaffour serves, 11-10 Iran. Whistles through the wind there and drops out. Iran, who's been to the last four World Championships. And you can trace a line, really, from their first World League appearance, 2013, to the present day. And just a little uh, milestones of progression along that route, which culminated in the first ever world medal, the bronze. Can't underestimate the importance of that to actually get a medal at a major world level event, the bronze in the World Grand Champions Cup 2017. 12 all. So Fayazzi was a, with a, a miss there in amongst all the heroics that he's produced here in China this morning. Oreste Cabuto to serve. Down the throat of Fayazzi who receives. That's Ibaripour. Gafour tries to strike. Maruf Lakrani and gives it to Fayazzi with a backcourt pipe finish. They found a combination that works, and they have found a combination that's really hurting Italy here. Because you wait to bring the backcourt player in, and there's just a channel. If the blockers are slow to react. Another serve, whistles over. Flag was up, so it dipped, but just not in time, I don't think. 13 all. But it was very close. I'm not surprised, actually, to see a challenge here. Because in the other, in the old days, that gets called the other way, and the other team, you know, feels they have the gripe. But this is the service land, and I tell you what, that's bang slap on the paint, and that's the biggest smile we've seen from Igor Kolarkovic all day. Well. It's nice when you are vindicated, having put in a challenge. And we also see as well there that that wasn't even a marginal call. That was slap bang on the line. I think they're beginning to believe now.
fabulous serve again. Maruf Lakrani, good set. Ah, oh, when you've got a good setter, you've always got half a chance. Ali Shafiye comes in to dispatch that. And yeah, it's thumbs up all the way for Maruf Lakrani and Iran now. Backcourt attackers coming in to really flummox the Italians. Substitution, Giacomo Raffaelli rotated in now. Just as the advantage is surrendered up. So Raffaelli, 24 from Ravenna. He's on the fringes of the squad since his debut four seasons ago. Candelaro serves. No. Really struggling for any kind of momentum here. team of heroes out there today, the Iranians, but Milan de Baripur, nine points, showing his uh, importance to the squad, the experienced player, he's at 25 years of age now, so nine points off, nine attacks, the player who was a Polish champion in 2018 with the Skra Belkatau, very accomplished wing spiker, Part of all the teams that have won the golds at the Asian Games and that bronze at the Grand Champions Cup two, two years ago in Japan. They just do the, the basics really well, the Iranians. Sounds like damning with the faint praise. That's not the intention at all. They're a very accomplished unit. They just make very few mistakes, the Iranians. And that gets you an awful long way. And Italy will just take anything, really, to get back into the match here. As they do there, Gianelli sort of almost blind, flops that shot over one-handed. Ginelli rattles the serve, and that's Gaffour again. Unchallenged, and he's able to, well, treat the finish to that attack almost like a training session, just rifling the shot cross-court inside the line, 17-14. And do Italy have the heart, do they have the stomach to level this match up and take us into a deciding set? Well, not if the current evidence is anything to go by. Iran are just sharper, aren't they? They're more tuned. Here that Italy had made an indication that they wanted to call a timeout before that last service. It's been a, a testing environment for the referees at times today. And, uh, the captains have to do the honours, very much like rugby, where uh, you know, rather than just have a huddle of players speaking with the officials, then you channel your thoughts to your skipper, who then goes and represents the team to the officials. Card for the coach, by the looks of things.
so just a short delay in proceedings as everyone gets back on the same page. So, just has to calm himself and his team down a little, I think, here, Gian Lorenzo Blengini. I think we're going to continue without an Italian timeout. So, Ibaripur is on service. Punch back into play by Raffaele. Iran just look determined to wrap this match up now. It's that man, Ibaripur. They've just grown in stature almost. The longer this match has gone on. Italy, remember, took the opening set today, 25-20. But that's as good as it's got for them. And for a nation like Iran who, yes, they're there or thereabouts, they play in world champs, they're competitive in the VNL, but you look at the way the VNL is structured, then it just needs another couple of wins against higher ranked teams. And then you're talking about the verges of qualifying for the final week of the top six. Just as uh, Blengini continues to argue with the officials. Around they got wins against Australia, Argentina last year. They, uh, they beat China in Russia. Actually beat Poland in straight sets in the USA leg and then won three out of three at home in Tehran. As Italy do eventually call the uh, timeout as they trail by four. But if they can pick up another couple of wins, like now, like here against Italy, nation to whom they were beaten in straight sets in the VNL last year, then you really can begin to see a way that Iran can make quarter-finals, make finals weeks. <laughs> the serve which has Italy working, the tips haven't come off today at all for Polo and company. Or touch in there just as the uh, backcourt defender slid forward, tried to pancake in and dig it up. <laughs> There's been a lot of conversation between the skippers and uh, the referees today. Eighteen fifteen, lead is three. Italy allowed their service, but side out. Ali Shafier that time. Rattling in his ninth point of the match. They've got Gaffour on 19. Mohamed Masabi Sayed on eight. Puriya Fayatsi on eight. Now it's Shafier to serve. Push set over the head, working so hard defensively again. Attack in defense. Iran have really been at the races today. Gianelli with a push up, and Nelly buries the shot. Again, saying Maruf Lakrani. Just to make sure, just to make absolutely sure they get the point. Because too many of those. Uh, Attempted spikes cross court down the line have landed out from Antonov and from Nelly. Alberto Polo. Oh, what a leave by Maruf Lagrani. That's the dummy of the year. Well, first touch. And they win the point. 
Oh, I hope to see that again soon. Gaffor now. Iran leading by four. Scratch that, leading by three. Fayazzi receives that serve. Oh, now is not the time to wobble. Garfour with a cross-court opportunity, which he missed. And that kind of inaccuracy has been conspicuous by its absence from Iranian hands so far today. This is how tight it is. Gabriele Nelly serves for Italy. Twenty one now plays eighteen. Yali steps off, the 20 year old. Yeah. Set, chance for the finish. Yeah, he was looking the other way as he delivered the kill. Ores de Cavuto, just for the extra little bit of disguise. No stopping that, but it's not happened often enough. Nice clean kills when the ball's been worked out to the the wide players. Cavuto goes again at 21-19 here, set four. Maruf Lakrani over the head, pipe finish from Fayazzi. Ah, they've worked it out. That's how to do it. No chance for the block there of Candelaro and Gianelli. 22 to 19 and beating big names despite the personnel issues with Italy here. Just uh, gives you a feeling that will become increasingly familiar. And that gives added value here to what Iran hope they are about to achieve. Nelly down the line, pulls another back for the Italians though, 22-20. But it'll need the kind of resilience that we've not seen for the past hour or so from Italy to take us into a deciding set. They've run out of time really, because Iran just need the three more to win the match. Just as Italy help themselves to one more point, 22-21. Ginelli on service, Marufa Krani had to save that, turn into something of a joust. Ball shoveled down Italian side. Well, Italy have got us back level at 22s now just with the finish line inside. Iran started panicking.
Well, it's amazing, isn't it? The uh, psychology of sporting contests and how uh, you can be supposedly in a position of ascendancy and supposedly in control, and that's when the demons set in. That's when you start thinking too far ahead. That's when you start forgetting about the basics that you've executed so, so well to, to get to the verge of winning a contest. So all timeouts have been used up by either team. It's a fight to the finish now. For Iran, that means winning the set, winning the match. For Italy, it means winning the set, dragging themselves up by their bootstraps into a decider, and somehow having the energy to win that as well. To the net, gift, 23, 22 now, what a chance on service. Maruf Lakrani on serve there for Iran, that goes long from Nelly. Match point reached. Two and a half hours in. Iran are on the edge here of beating Italy. Down the line, oh, what a shot to pull out. Staring down the gun barrel at match point. And Nelly just finds the paint. 24-23. But there's a chance here. Now Italy have got this side out with Iran receiving. Is this the moment? Gafford's blocked back, it's out, and Iran have taken the match. Can you believe that? An understrength Italy 14 have gone down in their opening challenge, their opening contest of the VNL. 2019 here in Jiangmen, China. Italy won the first set against the Iranians here, but then had no answer to the superior spiking and blocking. An all-round hard-working ethic of this Iranian squad. who repeat their victory over Italy from the World Grand Champions Cup in 2017. In 2019, Iran have beaten Italy in their first match of the Volleyball Nations League.